it's so pretty. Okay. This is like a sea foam green. I was most excited to get this one. 1989 blue. They also have photos on the back and lyrics from the vault. Green. Those shoes. She just looks so real. Here are all my 1989 CDs. It's the missing piece to my Taylor Swift vinyl collection. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. If you're new here, welcome, I'm so happy to have you, and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. So as we all know, 1989 Taylor's version is out, and it is amazing. Now I am getting all of my pre-orders coming in and getting delivered. I would say like half of them are stuck somewhere across the country, but I have three, and I was gonna wait for all of them and all the stuff to come in, but I quite literally just can't. So I'm gonna film what I have so far and the first thing I got delivered was the sunset sunrise sunrise boulevard yellow edition and I already opened the like package it came in and it had the blue star confetti and then I got my target one in which I'm gonna open that one the tangerine with sweeter than fiction and I'm so excited about that because I have not heard the sweeter than fiction Taylor's version yet um, and I think this one is the aquamarine one so let's get into it I always like to save the stickers you know when I eventually properly store all my vinyls I will you know put the stickers on the protective covering but I just have not gotten around to it so let me know if you guys want me to do a video about how I store my vinyls and maybe I will actually go through and store them all correctly and repackage them okay we were born to be suburban legends I think suburban legends is already underrated People are just willy-nilly putting it at the bottom of their ranking, and it's such a good song. Like, that chorus is always getting stuck in my head. And you kiss me in a way that's gonna screw me up forever. Okay, the sticker is here unscathed, so I just kind of get the rest of the plastic off. So here we have it. Give it a look inside. So cute. Little Polaroids. I'm very excited to get my, oh my God, it almost flew right out. <laughs> I'm excited to get my CDs that I ordered with all the Polaroids, but I have no idea when they are coming, but this is super cute. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's all staticky, stuck to it. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. This was the one I was most excited for, just because I don't think I have any yellow vinyl. It's so pretty. And obviously the other one is going to be the same. I'm excited to eventually display the vinyls somewhere. Um, right now they're all just kind of like stacked up, but I will eventually do a full vinyl tour of my Taylor Swift vinyl because like I only started collecting a year ago, but I've been like on it, like scavenging for all of these. So I was so excited about all of these variants from 1989. Okay, next up, let's open the tangerine one. Here it is from Target exclusive, and I think they have it for also like certain, I think some international places also had this. Here we are, sticker. Okay, so this is like the original like cover. The vinyl is just gonna be different. Um, I am getting this same cover, but it's gonna be blue. The Crystal Skies. We've got the inside. I think it's, is it the same? Oh no, it's slightly different. Oh, okay, some of these are the same. Some of them are a little bit different. Wow, these are high quality photos. Oh, I love this picture of her walking on the beach in the yellow. So cute. Here we are. Oh, we've got the sand and then we've got Sure, her at the beach. I mean, I'm from California, Southern California, so like the aesthetic of this album is like the way that she rebranded it. I am so here for. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know, on the like sticker on the front of it, it looks more cream beige, but this is this is like an orangey color. This is definitely tangerine, as she calls it, like a super light pastel orange. Kind of goes with my dress. <laughs> So here it is. Big fan, big fan. All of the vault is on one side. So if you just wanted to listen to the vault and Sweeter Than Fiction, it is on one of the sides of the disc. So there you have it. Oh, and also the back covers. Oh yeah, this is one and nine. And then we have the aquamarine one, which I'm excited. And I'm excited to see the confetti inside because I know some people are getting black stars. You know, we all know what that means. 
Here we are. So far, no black confetti, but that's okay. We love all the confetti. I still have two more coming, so there is a chance. <laughs> also, my, um, our 1989 cardigans already shipped, so they must have, like, really prepared for this because they knew people were gonna, like, want to buy the cardigans, so they must have started making them ahead of time because I have not gotten a cardigan fewer than, like, three months later after I've ordered it, so this is really fast. Okay. Oh my confetti, blue stars. Ooh. And this one is the eight. So I'm just waiting for the missing piece, the rose garden pink, which I know that one. I just love pink. The only thing I wish there was was like a lilac purple or like a periwinkle color, but it's fine. No, it's interesting because obviously like light blue is associated with 1989 now, but in my mind, 1989 was always like a periwinkle color, like a blue purpley color because of like how it looks on the cover, the seagull sweater, because of the filter looks it doesn't look blue it looks like a purpley like periwinkle color so anyways I didn't particularly associate light blue with 1989 until Taylor kind of made us when she you know decided to do like the colors of the albums and everything all right here she is give her an open the inside Ooh, that's a that's a close-up high quality photo I like how it's like a film reel. That's so cute. So now like if you think about it because she's been using photos of like, you know, when she released Wildest Dreams Taylor's version, she had that cover art of her and the sweater. And I feel like that's how long it has been that she has been planning 1989 because, you know, that was like a whole photo shoot. Is that picture in here? Yes. This photo right here is from the same photo shoot as that Wildest Dreams cover art. So I feel like she's had this in the works forever and she even said that she's like I've been planning this for an embarrassingly long amount of time, but she's a mastermind, you know, she's got to have it all planned out. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like a sea foam green. This, oh my gosh, is beautiful. It is still so crazy to me how many variants this re-record got when all the other ones didn't get any, really. But she totally went midnights on 1989 Taylor's version and just gave us like five different variants. Cause I also have five versions of Midnight's and I don't even think I have all of them. I think I'm missing like two different versions of Midnight's. Okay, there you have it. Aquamarine green. The first three of the five variants that I have ordered and I'm so excited for the pink one and the blue one and then all of the CDs and the Polaroids as well and my cardigan. So I have a lot of things coming in the next week or so, hopefully. Um, but you know, you never know with Taylor's merch store. It could be tomorrow, it could be three months from now. But okay, I'll see you guys when I get the rest of my stuff. Hello guys, it has been a minute. I've been gone for the past week. I came home to all of these packages, 1989 Taylor's version, all of my pre-ordered albums and vinyls. I have already opened three of them on here, but I have the remaining albums and I'm going to do a little unboxing of the rest of them for you guys. And I also have a special package from a subscriber. They sent me this special package and I'm also gonna open that. But first, what do I wanna open first? I think we're gonna open this vinyl because I think this is the pink one. I'm so excited to display these somehow. I hope I have lots of confetti. Okay, here we go. Far I have one. <laughs> and here it is. The Rose Garden Pink vinyl. And then I just got a bunch of blue stars again. I know some people were getting black, so I was kind of hoping that I would get some, but alas, I have not gotten any black ones, so wrap Taylor's versions on hold for the time being. All right, here it is. We're gonna open it up. I have to keep my sticker as always. Also, I wanna show you guys my Eras nails I got for my birthday month. I did not ever get Eras nails when I actually went to the Eras tour because I just never had time and I also never paint my nails, but I decided for my birthday I wanted to get them done. So we've got all the Eras on my nails. I love so much. I wish my nails could be like this all the time. Okay, I've got my sticker. Now let's open her up. Oh my gosh. I love this photo shoot so much. It's so staticky when you first open it. Here she is. 
so pretty. I love this so much. Reminds me of the Lover vinyl that I got from Target. I think the Lover one is a little bit more pink and this one is more pastel pink. I was most excited to get this one because pink, pink is one of my faves. All we were missing was purple, like I said. Purple is my favorite color. And then we have the other side that's gonna be the same thing. We got this cute photo. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the lithograph that I have where she's always doing that pose. So cute. So now I have the full, you know, 1989 set of vinyls, which is very exciting. The last one I'm gonna open is the Crystal Skies one, but the Crystal Skies one and the Target exclusive are technically the same cover and back cover, just different colors. So I don't know why, but the original 1989 like official cover is the one that took the longest to get shipped for some reason even though that's the first one I ordered in this package it also has two of the CDs when I first went to order they had sold out of two out of the four CD variations so I only got two and then later on they put it back on the shop to order more so I was able to get all four of the variants and the CDs yay of course we've got more confetti to add to the collection. First, we've got the Aquamarine CD, and then we have Sunrise Boulevard. Now, these are different from the Target ones. Taylor is such a businesswoman that she has made so many variations, and all of them are unique in what they include. So, of course, I went and bought all of them because... I don't know. I think about it as an investment, truly, and it, they're just going to become more valuable as time goes on. We have this one, which we will open this first. No more confetti. The official 1989 Taylor's version cover we have here, Crystal Skies Blue. Sticker secured. Here we are. I believe this is the same as the tangerine one. The only difference being the colors. Oh, I love this. This is the perfect blue. The perfect quintessential 1989 blue that has more of like a purple tint to it. A more periwinkle hue shade of blue. It's just so beautiful. Love to see it. So now we have the CDs and I'm gonna open this one because this has the other two in it. I don't know why they all came separately. I know I ordered them all separately, but like they really could have saved some, some boxes if they just shipped all of this together. I had to pay for shipping like, you know, a million times. Here we go. Here's the other two. Yay. More confetti. <laughs> I wonder how much confetti they go through when they send this merch, because I have a feeling it's so much. Okay, all four of the CD variants. Let's open up, let's start with the first one. Now, each of these has Polaroids. Like I was saying earlier, the difference between the Target CDs and the CDs from her website is that the CDs from her website have the Polaroid sets, the ones from Target have the posters, you guys already saw those. You know, I absolutely hate the process of opening CDs because I feel like they make it so difficult. I'm just glad they don't have like that sticky tape thing on the top of it anymore. Back when I was a kid, it would ruin the whole case. Okay, I'm struggling. I don't wanna ruin my nails. Okay. There we go. This one doesn't have a sticker on the front. Here she is, you've seen her before. Oh, and this, this is the, where the Polaroids are. They aren't, I can already feel they're not as sturdy as the ones from the original, but that's okay. They're a little more like flimsy. The other ones were like sturdy, like cardstock. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, these were from the original photo shoot. Oh my gosh. I would love to find some way to display all of these next to the original Polaroids because I do have a ton of the originals, but here's just a quick look through some of these. These do not have the same filter as the Polaroids. Look at that. These are so clear. Yeah, so clear. I'm very excited now to see all of them. So this was the first, first little photos from the vault. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm just, I'm gonna have to open all these. So just give me a second, I'll rip all the plastic off. Okay, I am back and I've taken all the plastic off. Okay, so next we have the Sunrise Boulevard Yellow Edition. Oh shoot, did I just, oh, there we go. Here we go. 
So how many are in here? Like six maybe? I know in the original it was 13. This is definitely not 13 photos. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. So here's our next set. This one I've never seen. I feel like I've never seen that one. I also feel like I've never seen that outfit. I don't know. Maybe it's just the filters. Okay, this was like an iconic outfit from that photo shoot, as well as this one. And that's her on the ferry. Yes, so let's see. Oh, and then on the, oh, I didn't even notice that on the back, they also have photos on the back and lyrics from the vault. Taylor, you've just thought of everything. Okay, we'll flip them around this time. We got that one, this one, and they all have like the color of the album, like variation that they're from. Oh my God, I love, I love this one. They're so high quality, so clear. Moving on to the aquamarine. Green photos from the vault. Ooh, this was the cover. I feel like this was like almost the same as the cover art from Shake It Off, the single it's cover art. This one, that was an iconic one as well. Those shoes, wow. I love that, I love that so much. Let's flip them around. One. This is like one of my favorite photo shoots she's ever done. Let's see, one, two, three, five. Yes, so there's five Polaroids per, so that means there's 20 total. Kinda makes sense there's five, like that's another important number because this is like album five. So that kinda makes sense that there's five and not 13, because 13 would be a lot. I think these were like, you know, just the very few that were left out of the original like Polaroid deck. So we've got Rose Garden Pink. I feel like for some reason, I just feel like this might be my fave. Ooh. She just looks so real. And these photos are like relatively from a long time ago. She looks so good. This, this is the iconic photo, but it's like slightly different because in the original, she's like holding onto her glasses with her hand, but this one she's not. So I think that's like one of the only differences. And then lastly, this one. Um, okay, now let's look at the back here. This was from the lithograph kind of thing, but a different pose. I have not seen that one before. Same thing with this one. And this iconic pose, it's just slightly different. It's so weird to see these photos from so long ago be like almost the same as the ones we've seen before, but not quite, just like slightly different. Yes, I'm a fan. I'm so glad that I got all four because now I can find, you know, some kind of frame or something to display them on in my room eventually when I decide to decorate my walls in my room. <laughs> and there you have it. That is every variation of 1989 Taylor's version unboxed for you guys. I am shocked at myself that I bought every single one, but I am also not shocked. With the stolen and the Taylor's versions, here are all my 1989 CDs four of the original, and I have eight Taylor's version, which I feel is so fitting because I need to cancel out the stolen versions, you know? It just feels right. Um, oh, I feel like, oh, <laughs> I never even opened these two that I got from Target. Let's do that real quick. Gosh, this plastic will be the end of me. I also hate the texture of it. Last one. Okay, so again, these have posters, so I guess I didn't, didn't, oh, I keep like dislocating, I keep like dislocating the hinge here. Okay, this one, I think I figured this one, oh, this one is um, Wonderland, the lyrics of Wonderland. Ooh. And then we've got this one, the Wildest Dreams sweater. Maybe I should just make a giant 1989 Taylor's version collage or something with all of this stuff that I have. Last one, Sunrise Yellow. Oh, this is um, Wildest Dreams. Oh, and, and then the original lyrics, see it in black and white, you and me, all night, long nights, burning it down. See me in black and white, dancing with you all night. 
tangled up with you all night. Remember those fast times. I love this because it has the little beach TS89. So cute. And then we've got this photo, the final one out of the four. She looks so happy. Okay, now that's all of them unboxed. Here are all the vinyls that I have, I believe. I have one, I have the original that I got recently, the past year I found it at my record store, I think. So I do have the original. And here are all the Taylor's versions. I like don't even know how to hold these. I want to hold all of these up at once, but I genuinely don't know how I could do that. These are so heavy. Okay, now we're gonna open my super special package and I'm so excited because I know what it is um, because this very, very kind subscriber DM'd me and wanted to contribute to my vinyl collection with the last Taylor Swift vinyl that I don't have because I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And they DM'd me and said that they had found it all the way in Australia, which is so crazy to me. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for subscribers like you that do these so, like these incredible acts of kindness and you guys are just so generous. So this package is from Christopher. I am so, so grateful and I'm already so excited to open this. I can't believe this came all the way from Australia. Again, I don't think I could say thank you enough times because this is just like way too nice. Like I feel like I do not deserve this. Okay. Look how cute! Confetti and, and friendship bracelets and stickers. Oh my gosh. Purple for Speak Now. Oh my god. The okay. This is like one of the most thoughtful things I have ever been sent because all of these bracelets are my favorite songs. We have Last Kiss, which you guys know is like one of my favorite songs ever. And then we have Mean, which is like another one of my favorite songs. Oh my gosh. Christopher. Oh my god. Speak Now, Taylor's version. I'm loving the Speak Now representation here. And then we've got You Are In Love, Taylor's version. Okay, this, this one, like you've been paying attention because Cold As You is my favorite song from debut. I, I am just like so excited and so thankful and just like, I'm gonna cry. And then we have 15. Which, again, what my favorite song from Fearless, Lover. Eight friendship bracelets. That is the most I've been given at once. Thank you so, so much. Okay, I haven't even gotten to the main event here, but we've got all this confetti that I will be adding to the collection. <laughs> so much confetti. I am just, I am over the moon right now. So happy. We've got stickers. we got an Evermore, Evermore sticker. And I have a little card. I'm genuinely so touched. He wrote a little card. I love stickers. This is so amazing. These are so amazing. This calendar. Oh my God. 2024 Taylor Swift calendar. I am so, uh, this is too much. This is way too much. Oh my God. 2024 official Taylor Swift calendar speak now Taylor's version. I'm deceased. I was not expecting all of this. I was not expecting this at all. It truly is Christmas. Thank you, Christopher. Wow. But the thing that I was expecting that I was told was this debut, the debut original vinyl that I have not been able to find anywhere. It's the missing piece to my Taylor Swift vinyl collection. I am so overwhelmed and so grateful and appreciative. Oh my God, this was like the best gift. This was truly one of the best gifts I've ever received. I feel truly so blessed and I'm just so happy and I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna open this right now actually and we're gonna look at it together. I like genuinely can't even function right now because of how happy I am. <sighs> Here it is. The OG where it all began vinyl. Here it is. Her little toes. <laughs> this makes me so, so happy. I feel like I've been saying that for like the past 20 minutes, but for real, this has truly made my day, my week, my month. My birthday is literally next week. Yeah, next week. And this is already my favorite present I've gotten. So 
One last time, thank you to Christopher. You are the nicest person ever and I don't deserve this, but I am so, so thankful and appreciative. And that will conclude today's video of all of these vinyls in one, it truly felt like Christmas, like opening up all these packages and presents, oh my God. Which brings me to my next thing. I will be doing a holiday giveaway this year. I haven't completely put it all together, but I'm so excited and I just want, it. I wanted to give back to you guys because I feel like you've given me so much this year in terms of support, appreciation, your nice comments, meeting you guys face to face this year. And I just feel like I can never give you guys back what you've given to me, but I want to try and I want to do a giveaway this year for the holiday season and just try to give back to you guys because I feel like I'm, I've just been so lucky this year and you guys have brought just like the best things. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe so you guys don't miss out on the holiday giveaway that's coming soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!